Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geek Plan. I'm Jeff and welcome to another episode of the Geek Plan Collectibles where we either unbox, show off, or talk about new collectibles that are being released. And today we're going to talk about some new collectibles from Hot Toys being released on Sideshow.com. If you live here in the States, that is one of the best places to get these six scale figures from Hot Toys. You can do payment plans, all kinds of stuff, but there are also other ways you can buy them here in the States. That's just my favorite way of doing it because you earn reward points towards new figures. Let's talk about it. Uh, they just released uh, for pre-order two of the shore trooper figures one from rogue one the squad leader which we'll take a look at first one from the mandalorian i think it's just the grunt we'll take a look at that as well uh the first shore trooper release the rogue one shore trooper they didn't think would be very popular they didn't make a whole lot of them it sold out and now it is a very very rare figure and you don't see them under eight to nine hundred dollars on eBay or any of the used Hot Toys sell groups on Facebook or other places around the web. It's really difficult to get your hands on one. But anyway, let's take a look at the figure. The first one from Rogue One it is the Squad Leader. You can see here, this is the Squad Leader from Rogue One, not from Mandalorian. Mandalorian has the grunt. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. But the design of this trooper is my favorite design of the trooper since Disney has taken over. And even... It's right up there with um, probably the 501st Clone Trooper from Revenge of the Sith. It's like right there. That's my favorite. Um, it is $230. You do like a flex pay plan on this for like four months. You have to do a non-refundable deposit. But if something happens and you lose your job, things like that, and you call their toll-free number, they're really good about helping you out and getting your non-refundable deposit back if you just can't do the figure. But it's a really good way to buy the figures. I know a lot of people like to go to like Big Bad Toy Store and buy them outright because the shipping is a lot less. But again, you will gain reward points with Sideshow if you create an account and you buy collectibles on their website, you'll build reward points and you'll eventually get enough to either get a free figure or get a half price figure or a decent discount on one if you do like to buy the Hot Toys figures. Now, if you never heard of Hot Toys and you subscribe to Heels vs. Babyface, as has been doing a lot of different like hot toy streams lately him and robert meyer Bennett have been talking about a lot of their hot toys figures and you guys can see behind me i actually do have some hot toys figures so there's my obi-wan from Revenge of the sith here's my batman and my jared leto from suicide squad and batman v superman and then of course behind me here we have the anakin from Revenge of the sith as well i have some Darth Vader ones below i really do enjoy these figures i don't have a ton of them because they are expensive but the ones I do have are the ones I want in my collectible. Like, I have two different Vaders, a New Hope and Rogue One. They're both beautiful Darth Vader figures. And I also have a Harley... Well, my wife has a Harley Quinn, one six scale from Suicide Squad. Beautiful figure as well. It's deluxe. It's a great, great figure. Uh, but this Shore Trooper here, um, I'm going to go through the pictures of this guy because he is... I clicked on it and I'm like, this is this makes me want it even more. It's just a really, really, really beautiful figure. I know it's kind of out of there. Okay, there we go. So here we go. This is the first look at the Shore Trooper. Um, you can tell this is Squad Leader. He has the, the different paint on the shoulders, the blue. He also has that, like, looks kind of like a skirt around his waist uh, as well. I do like, just love this design. I don't know why. It just pops, and it looks really, really, really great. I remember seeing Rogue One, like, marketing for that when it came out. Like, stuff on shirts, and the figures were coming out, like, Black Series figures. I saw the Shore Trooper. I'm like, oh, my God, I got to have that. Waited too long on the Hot Toys Shore Trooper the first time, and it's gone. So I'm going to have to get something like this because it's just a fantastic figure. Just really great looking figure. I love the, the, the rifle on it too. It looks really good. Really great dynamic poses. And it looks like the little like cape thing on the back on the is... I'm not sure what that's called. But it does look like it does have wire wires in it for posability. So really good looking figure. I'm really looking forward to this one. There it is with a regular Stormtrooper. I just love this design so much. The helmet, to me, is what sells it. It's just a fantastic looking helmet. If you look behind it, that's the regular, I believe the original, figure that came out. Um, if We'll go through the grunt here in a minute. The one they released from the Mandalorian looks different. I believe that's the first one they, they released. There's the back of it. You can see the way the pants are and then the, the just the design. And the weathering on the armor looks fantastic. Just love this figure so much. It's just a great figure. I love how he's using the, the the butt of the gun. It's just really great poses you can do. There's the other figure behind it. This is the this is the one in the front here. This is the pre-order. This is the uh, squad leader. I really like it quite a bit. So happy they released this. A lot of people are very excited, happy about this because when you can't get your hands on one because it's such a rare figure and they re-release it or put out a new version of it that's even better. It's 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 nice to see Hot Toys do that. 
but just an absolutely fantastic figure. Really, really like this one quite a bit. Here's what it comes with. It's got the belt, the back casing on it. They got the leg armor. It's got the stand on it with the, like the sticker you can put on top of it for Rogue One. It's different hands on it as well for the different gun poses. And it has that nice rifle on it as well. Really well done. Great figure. Hot toys. Fantastic. Not too big of a price tag on this either. $230, not too bad. In my opinion, these trooper figures that don't come with a lot should probably be about 150 to 180, but 230 is not bad. And this is the squad leader, so he is a little bit more, but yeah, it's just a great looking figure. Now this is the shore trooper six scale figure from the Mandalorian. This is the one that they released as well. It's also $230. It doesn't have the skirt on it. Uh, it looks a little bit different. Still a badass looking figure. It doesn't have the blue on it like the other one from Rogue One. But still, like I said, it's, it's a really damn good looking figure. We'll go through the pictures here. Just really, really like it. I, I It's just a really, really good looking trooper. And the weathering on it looks great. Also, another design I really like from Rogue One was the tank trooper, which was very similar to the uh, shore trooper. But yeah, I, I love he's got the pack there with the ammunition pack on it. That's what I'm guessing that is. Really good looking blaster. Just a great looking figure, and I'm really happy they're re-releasing these and putting these out. For people to get who missed the Shore Trooper the first time when Rogue One was released. Just a beautiful looking figure. I love it. Love it so much. Wow. And there was the other figure from Hot Toys that they released in for the Mandalorian. Uh, I, Transport Trooper, I think is what it's called. I will go through it here in a second so I can show you what it is since it's actually shown here. But we're going to mostly talk about the Shore Trooper here. It's just a damn good looking figure. Love it. Yep. So he comes with a, just a regular stand. Doesn't have the sticker on it to look like the, the short trooper on the, on the top of it. It's got one less hand on it. Um, it's got the little pouch, the satchel on the side. Uh, I think it's very similar blaster that the squad trooper has or the squad leader has. Now here's the one that they showed in the background of the short trooper. For the Mandalorian is the transport trooper, the Din Djarin, and uh, the other character played by Bill Burr. Uh, was in the outfits that's it's very similar to the tank trooper in rogue one pretty decent looking trooper it's also like 220 dollars is not too bad but i'm not i don't like the design as much the helmet for some reason looks too long i just don't think it's as good of a design as the tank trooper was or the shore trooper kind of looks like he's like frowning right there he's like he kind of looks like an alien face in this one it just i don't like the helmet for some reason it just doesn't pop like the shore trooper does or the death trooper but yeah there it is with the but the Shore Trooper, much better design in my opinion, much better. So this one doesn't come with a whole lot. It comes with a blaster gun, a, the, the stand for it, and a few hands. Not a lot. Uh, trooper figures usually don't, unless it's like a Sand Trooper Commander. Uh, has like one or two rifles with it. Uh, so a lot, not, not a whole lot. Or if it's like a Death Trooper Specialist. But back to the squad leader. I just wanted to talk about this figure because I think it's a fantastic looking figure. And I'm going to try to get this one. I've got a couple of my ones back here that you can't see that I'm actually selling currently. So as soon as it sells, I'm going to be selling that one and putting that towards this one. Because this is a fantastic figure and I'm so happy that they re-released the Shore Trooper designs. Thank you Hot Toys for doing that. What do you guys think of this design? Do you guys like the Shore Trooper? Are you not a fan of it? Do you not like anything that Disney has done since they've designed this Trooper, since they've had the property? I think the uh, Patrol Troopers from Solo look pretty good. There's some different Trooper designs. That Trooper was a fantastic design as well. They've done a good job with those, even though they've like definitely effed up the story and not done a very good job with the property. Other than that, the designs on the Troopers look pretty decent. Let me know down below. Also, if you guys are Hot Toys collectors, do you have something like this? Is it something like this you want in your collection? Let me know down below. I always like to hear from collectors as well, too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy making it. I do. Uh, I'm so happy the Hot Toys is re-releasing the Shore Trooper design with the different kind of, you can do the two different ones, the, the Grunt or the Squad Leader. But that will do for this video. That is the Geek Blend Collectibles, where we talk about collectibles, unbox collectibles, show off collectibles, things like that. We'll be doing some more of these in the future, hopefully as well. Uh, anytime these kind of things pop up that I just catches me and I want to talk about it, I'll do a video on it. I've done them before in the past on the Hot Toys releases. I will do some unboxings as well when I get these, if I do order these. And I might even do some reviews on figures I haven't even talked about on the channel that I have here behind me. We'll go over some accessories and things like that. So let me know down below if you guys want to see something like that. I'll do that. Leave a like on the video. It does help us out. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see some more. Hit the bell for notifications so you can stay updated on everything we release here on the channel. Link below in the description for all the ways you guys can support the channel as well as 
social media, Discord links as well. And I want to say a special thank you to everybody who supports the channel via channel memberships, Patreon, subscribe, or anything you guys can do. I want to say thank you to all of you guys. You guys are awesome, and you make videos like this possible. Thank you all very, very much. Your names will be scrolling in the outro. I'm Jeff. This is the Geek Planet, and if you geek about it, we speak about it. See you guys next time.